Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the rollout of the new Bing search with the Bing chat, as many of you may know, sometimes when you do a Bing search, on the search results page, uh, the actual chatbot can appear next to your search results. So just to demonstrate, if I just do a random search for some numbers, yeah, to the right hand side, uh, in some circumstances, not all, but for some searches, we get the chatbot appearing um, next to the search results on that search results page. Now, for whatever reason, um, if you don't want this to appear next to your normal, so called normal search results, maybe you just think it's a distraction and you don't need it for every search, or maybe it's just bloat and clutter, for whatever reason, there is a way we can actually disable uh, this chat response. Uh, on the search results page. So in case you're unaware, to disable um, this feature appearing, we just head to the hamburger menu, expand settings, click on more, and now you'll see chat response on result page. The description reads, choose how often do you want to see chat responses on the search result page. Now I set it to more frequent just to generate a response for today's video. But the default is auto, and if you actually want to turn that off so you don't get any chat responses appearing next to your so-called normal Bing search results, just turn that off, click on save. And now when we go back, and if I even just refresh that page, you'll see now that that chat response has been removed and disabled. Just maybe um, getting rid of a bit of clutter or maybe a distraction. And if you still want to uh, get to the chatbot, you can just scroll up, which will take you to the new Bing chat. Or... On the same page, you can just click on chat, which will take you to the actual Bing chat page. But nonetheless, just wanted to point that out. And if you want to um, return the feature uh, back to normal, as in placing the chatbot next to your search results, you just head back to the hamburger menu, click on settings again, more, and you just reverse the process. And you can just take that from off and choose the setting you want. I'm going to place it back to auto default, click on save, and that will return everything back to how it was. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.